Hello, I'm Bill Mance, and uh, thank you again for joining us here for Jackson County Close-Up. Uh, we're, uh, we're still working through our uh, Law & Order uh, series, and it's just been a wonderful series of explaining to people how uh, our, our kind of system works here in Jackson County. We've met some amazing people, and we got the, we have another one today, and this is uh, um, out of the District Attorney's Office. It is our Deputy District Attorney, Alyssa Klausman. So thank you very much for joining us today. Well, thanks for having me. So tell us about, about the 416 program So um, and just exactly what that is. Explain that. So the 416 program was launched in March of this year. Uh, the DA's office and the Community Justice Department are working um, closely together to um, work on this. It's grant funded. Okay. Um, basically what we're trying to do here is that um, our in addition to our jail here in the county being you know, overcrowded, we do have an overcrowding problem um, in our prison system in the state of Oregon. And so the legislature is really looking at how to um, create other ways to um, rehabilitate people who may have committed crimes that would make them prison eligible. Um, and part of that is because of the overcrowding, but part of it is also due to research that we're learning now that you know, frequently if you send someone to prison, um, you know, they come out more criminal than they were before they went in. And so we're really looking for ways to rehabilitate people in our community. Um, and so we're using a lot of different resources for that. Um, we have a probation officer who's working specifically with this program. Um, he meets with each of these clients and assesses their needs, whether it's addiction issues or mental health. Um, or um, you know, criminal thinking, whatever it may be, and then uses resources um, out of their office to really try to help those individuals work through those issues. Um, so really trying to reduce recidivism, um, trying to help these individuals cope and learn how you know, better, better cognitive skills basically, um, with the understanding that if they don't cooperate and they don't um, you know, fully engage in this program, that they are still looking at a prison sentence. So ultimately, if, if they aren't successful, they will be going to prison. But we're really trying to um, work with them up front and see if we can, um, you know, sort of fix the underlying issues rather than just removing them from the community for a brief period of time. So obviously really, really new. So, uh, but uh, um, how do you think it's working so far? You know, so far it's it's going pretty smoothly, especially for a brand new program. I believe we have about 21 people at this point who have pled into the program. Okay. Um, and we've got another, I believe, 35 somewhere in the process of getting into the program. It is um, more than just, you know, going into court and pleading guilty, they have to go through an assessment process to get into this okay. program. Um, and so there are a lot of people at different various stages in the program, but so far everything's been running really smoothly, so. Great, great, and collaborating with pretty much a lot of different resources to really deal with each individual's uh, situation as opposed to just a cookie cutter, here's, every, here's what everybody should do. Right, yeah, so we have um, people who are funneled into the treatment court system through this. We also have folks who are being channeled into gender responsive caseloads. So, you know, um, one of the things I've learned a lot about is, is the difference between female and male offenders and, and the kind of treatment that they need. And so, you know, we're really sort of honing in on that now and um, or you know it might just be an intensive supervision that they're on with a probation officer who really spends a lot of time one-on-one -on -one with that person really um, working on their specific needs. Thank you for doing what you do. I mean I know it's, uh, it's, a, it's a great value to our community and to the victims of crimes as well as gives the people an opportunity that have been heading in the wrong direction to maybe head in a, in, in a, in a more positive one. So thank you for what you do. Absolutely. Yeah.